Hey, 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 and welcome to Sound Wisdom Tarot 6-6 special reading. So today is June 6, meaning 6-6, six, six, six days, six months. So I have a 6-6 six, six special going on for y'all. If you purchase a private reading with me in the next six days, you got six whole days to cash in on this 6-6 six, six energy. Six days. And all you have to do is book it within the next six days. I'm offering a special 6-6 six, six discount. So message me, private message me, if you'd like the full details. And in the meantime, in honor of 6-6, six, six, I want to give you a little six con spread with the famous sixes from the tarot deck. So please choose right now a number from one to six. And here we go. If you chose card number one, you chose the six of pentacles. Six of pentacles is all about fairness, balance in your abundance and in your money and how you spend your time and how you spend your money and being given um, an opportunity to either receive help and abundance from someone else or to give it or to give it. And sometimes it's both, right? So the more you give, the more you get back. If you picked card number one, you're being asked to both give and receive at this point in order to achieve a little more balance in your life, especially regarding abundance. So how can you give? Giving isn't only money, right? Giving can be your time. It can be your love. It can be your listening ear. How can you give a little more right now to others as a way to bring in more abundance for yourself, abundance of all those things? Abundance, perhaps, of money, but also people's help, time, energy, their listening ear. Allow yourself right now to be in a mode of giving and receiving. And you also have to let yourself receive, okay? So if you're one of those overgivers, make sure you're allowing yourself to receive because also the more you receive, the more you have to give. Okay, if you pick number two, card number two, did you pick card number two? Here we go. You picked the Six of Swords. Six of Swords, my friends. So Six of Swords is all about moving off into a new direction. Yeah, moving off to calmer waters. Calmer waters. Allowing yourself to also be guided. Be guided towards this new direction. And to be careful of allowing your own thoughts to get in the way, right? So in this case, the swords are kind of stuck in this boat. Be careful of like putting, like sabotaging yourself as you move off into this new direction. Old thoughts from the past can sabotage our new direction. As best you can, don't sabotage this new journey you're embarking on, right? And I know that's hard to do, but notice when you're like stuck on old ways of thinking and really let yourself move on. Be guided from higher wisdom, right? Let yourself be guided from a higher wisdom right now as you move off into these calmer waters. And let yourself, you, you are protected here. You are being taken care of. Did you pick card number three? Did you pick cards number three, my friends? If you pick card number three, you picked the Six of Cups. This is around youthful childhood dreams and allowing yourself to bring that inner child into the present moment. What did you long for when you were younger? Today, you're being invited to play with your inner child. Take your inner child on a date, all right? Let yourself go swing on a swing or swim in a pool or play with a puppy or kitten. Allow yourself to dream of your ideal love, okay? This is the card of, of love, of letting yourself tune into those dreams that you loved as a child. 
but not in a way to just let them be part of the past. This is letting yourself bring that childlike love into the present. Let your childhood dreams nourish your, your present and therefore your future. Let yourself go for what you really want. Did you pick card number four, Collective? Did you pick card number four? That's the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands. You've got super success right here, right now. Can you let yourself acknowledge yourself? This is a card of being acknowledged for your success, of riding that wave of celebration. Let yourself acknowledge you and all of the efforts you've had and allow others to appreciate you too. So what can you do today to really celebrate yourself? Celebrate your successes, celebrate the hard work you've already done. And no, it's not actually over yet. You're not, even though you're not at the end of it, you're not at the end of this journey yet. But if you celebrate the small successes on the way, it leads to even greater success. What can you celebrate today about where you are, about what you've done, about what you've accomplished? Celebrating yourself today will bring in more of that, more of that to celebrate. There's a difference between being confident and being like ego pride. There's a difference. And being confident is necessary to success. Let yourself celebrate you. Did you pick card number five? That's, oh, let me just be careful. YouTube doesn't like uh, some of these images. <laughs> so we've got the devil card, card number 15, which breaks down to six. Five plus one is six. We've got the devil card. So if you picked this card, this is a sign for you to just just be wary of anything getting in your way of keeping you trapped, okay? So what kind of like addictions? Now, this doesn't have to be addictions to alcohol or drugs. This can be even like addicted to sugar, <laughs> addicted to your phone technology, addicted to certain thought cycles, right? Those painful ones that keep us kind of trapped. The good news is, is that the, these, uh, these lovers here aren't actually, like the, the chains around their neck aren't actually locked. The locks are open. So it's only ourselves that are keeping us in this state. It's not actually some evil force trapping you. It can feel that way but you have the power to break free at any moment. And this card is a little reminder to notice what are you um, indulging in a little too much? And can you back off a little bit? What do you want to be bound to? We get to choose that. We get to choose what we want to be bound to. Do you want to be bound to higher practices of meditation, yoga, reading, writing, exercise, time in nature? Or do you want to be bound to some of your vices? You have free will to engage in those vices, but you will be bound by them. Okay? So it's a, it's a time right now to just be careful about what you're giving your time and energy to. And did you pick card number six? If so, you picked the lovers, my friends. And again, I need to be careful of showing the full card here. Because <laughs> YouTube doesn't like it. But the lovers card, card number six in the major arcana. This is a card of like higher love. Higher love. Not the love bound by earthly desires. These are the lovers free, right? In the devil card, we have the lovers chained up. But here we have the lovers from a higher wisdom. 
So this is a card for you to allow love into your life, whether it's an, an actual person or self-love, love for a career or hobby or life path, life purpose. And it's a card of making choices from a place of higher love. Are you choosing what's right for you right now in your life? This is a card asking you to make a choice. Make a choice regarding something, regarding something you love. Because like sitting in that place of indecision of not making a choice is also actually making a choice. It's choosing not to choose, which doesn't feel good. Right now you're being invited to choose based on love, based on your heart, based on your higher heart, high wisdom, spirit wisdom, spirit heart wisdom. Let yourself go for what you love. All right, that's six cards representing six in the tarot. And in honor of 6-6, six, six, a reminder, we've got a special 6-6 six, six sale on. So if you book within the next six days, I've got a super special deal for you. Please message me to get the full details of what this special deal is. And I appreciate you for tuning in to Sound Wisdom Tarot. Check me out on YouTube. Hit that notification bell so you keep getting notified of this amazing sound wisdom coming through the tarot just for you. Thank you, friends. Thank you, Collective, for being here. Thank you, Spirit, for helping me tune in and attract the right people for these readings. Big love to you all on this special 6-6 six, six day. Until next time.